Hello, Paul Hamilton here for iPad Monthly. We're going to have a great look at how to create a graphic novel in Book Creator and some editing software as well. So the first thing um, we're going to do with our students is um, talk about Google searching and, and look at these up the top, look at these settings where we can do advanced searches and actually look at how we can search for images that we are, we are allowed to use um, with modification in a non-commercial kind of way. So I've just typed in the word apocalyptic. Um, my graphic novel is going to be quite dark. And so what I'm basically looking at is this image here. Um, I'm going to incorporate this, make it black and white, make it a little bit more sketchy, and then bring in a character that I can superimpose over the top and give it that selective colouring. So what I'm going to do is hold my finger down on that and save the image. And then I'm actually going to turn my iPad on the side because we're going to use this cartoon sketch app here. Um, and so it needs to be used in portrait mode. So I'm going to go there. And the first thing I'll do is hit the camera at the top and then down the bottom right hand corner goes to my camera roll. I'll grab that image. And then what I'm going to do is just press done. And then I'm going to actually hit on the filter here and I'm going to select the third one, or sorry, the second one from the top. And what that does is it really kind of gives it that graphic novel, that sketch kind of look about it. Um, so what I'm going to do there is just press it once. I'm going to export that straight to my camera roll as a saved image. And then take my iPad back to my landscape mode. And it's time to start putting these together. The other thing that I did do is I actually also did a search um, in Google and I looked up uh, sprites and characters that I could use with a transparent background. So when you're looking for images, look for that transparent PNG file types that we're looking for. And I'll show you the one that we found. So let's put this all together in Book Creator. I'm going to hit on Book Creator. Uh, you can see here um, I've been playing around with some of them. So what I might do is just go with a landscape. I'll just hit back because I've done the wrong thing there. I'm going to go to New Book. I'm going to go down to the uh, comic templates and I'll select landscape and then I'll go up the top and add some panels. Uh, so I'm going to start with a kind of a long landscape uh, image so I'll go with that and it's a simple case of bringing in that image straight to my camera roll. You can see there the effect is really really good, very sketchy, black and white uh, has changed it um, and changed the impression and then I'm going to go up to plus and up here there's a more category I'm just going to hit on more and I'm going to bring in the other photo. I'll show you the other photo that I found. It's this character here um, which I'm allowed to use. I made sure I'll shrink it to the size I want and then position him in the text and you can see how effective that is with some selective colouring. Now this image here you can see that it hasn't got a background because it's a PNG transparent kind of file um, and so it looks really really effective for my graphic novel. And then it's a simple case of adding my content. Now you might get your students to actually write the story first. I'm going to start with adding, um, what am I going to add here? I might add some text. Uh, let's go with a, a caption and, and start us off. Um, uh, we'll just say uh, the story begins. Um, and you can see how effective that looks with the background and then I can start actually building in. Now you can do a range of different things. You might decide not to look for images on the internet. You might actually go straight to um, your camera roll and with that sketch app that I showed you it actually gets images of yourself that you can transfer. You can see there that it kind of makes we can start to play around with photos, get the kids actually creating the backgrounds a little bit more. Um, there's a whole range of different things that we can do but this is just a fantastic way um, a fantastic way of actually uh, looking at how we can kind of produce a really effective product, uh, a graphic novel type kind of product using Book Creator and a couple of inventive kind of um, apps, photo editing apps that we can look at. Um, and one of the best ones that I've found is actually the the cartoon sketch which is the bottom left hand corner here. There's a few ads that pop up because it's free um, but overall it's a highly effective app that we can use. So I hope you found that tutorial really interesting and um, get your kids to start producing some fantastic stories um, and a great way of looking at that kind of graphic novel kind of effect. The other thing that I just wanted to show you quickly too is that when we bring in a photo you might actually just use the same photo. Um, so I've got the photo here but by pinching you might actually just focus on that car there and have your character next to the car and when you bring it in you can see that it 
completely changes the look at it just because I've used a different background. So I'll jump in there, bring in my character again, uh, reduce the size and put him next to the car. And you can see here that even though I'm using the same images, the whole story has changed because of the graphic uh, that goes with it. So that's Paul Hamilton here. Hope you really enjoyed that. Great way of getting kids to produce graphic novels using Book Creator and some photo editing apps. Paul Hamilton here, signing off.